This video is sponsored by Factor. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, and man, UFC 284 went down this weekend, let me tell you, it was fire. We're gonna be breaking down Yair Rodriguez and what makes his striking ability so electric. What up everybody? Everybody, what's up everybody? <laughs> Before we get into the video, a quick word from this video's sponsor, Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Their team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day. Achieve and maintain your 2023 goals with Factor. Get America's number one ready to eat meal kit and start saving time, eating well, and living your best year yet. No matter your lifestyle, Factor has delicious flavor packed meals to help you live it to the fullest with keto, calorie smart, vegan plus veggie, and protein plus options on the menu each week. Prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians, each meal has all the ingredients you need to feel satisfied all day long. Want to cut back on takeout? Get Factor instead. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but meals are ready faster than restaurant delivery in just two minutes. So I keep my Factor meals in the fridge at the dojo, and in between classes, I come in, pick to see which meal I want, Sweet honey mustard glazed chicken sounds delicious. And in two and a half minutes, I have a delicious meal with quality ingredients that help keep my energy levels up throughout the day and my workouts. Not to mention, it keeps my weight in check week after week. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code WONDERBOY50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, that's factor75.com and use code WONDERBOY50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. So yes, like W mentioned, Yair Rodriguez earned the interim featherweight bout when he took out Josh Emmett, submitting him in under two rounds. I gotta tell you what, WB, he was looking sharp. He was throwing body Man. kicks, question mark kicks, the typical, usual Yair Rodriguez stuff. We know him, we know what he's capable of. We've seen the switch kick KOs. We've seen yes. the upward elbow, underneath, Eey. over top. But WB, you mentioned to me a specific yes, combo yes. that really stuck out to you. Why it stuck out to me the most? Because you don't see this kind of high level striking in the UFC, not like this. WB, what is it? Explain well, to the viewers. Okay. Show them. There was a point out there in time where Yadra Rari, Rari, I can't even say, Yadra Rodriguez, I know. I'm gonna call it, Yadra Rodriguez, was putting his feet, hands together, man, and he hit him with a spin hook kick, putting his foot down, and hit him with like a right hook and a left hand, like followed up with a hook. So he completely changed direction, yes. changed velocity, and came back with the opposite side strike, which is super tough to do. Very hard. Years of training and core development and just understanding of the space-time continuum. Exactly. <laughs> now, WB, you've been known to hit something like this, too. You had, yes. In fact, you hit it in the last fight you did with Kevin Holland, but uh, you do it a little bit differently. So break yours down and then talk about why it's different with the eye ear. What I like to do, and this is how I do it, I throw a spin hook kick, and if I whiff the spin hook kick, or let's say my opponent dodges it, I expect that. I put my foot down and I follow up with something special. So I continue, so I got my spin hook kick, boom. If you notice, I'm going one direction. Uh, the band. Which is Tony's favorite band, actually. So spin hook kick, boom, the guy whiffs, and I use that momentum of my leg, putting it down, following up with a left hand, or whatever combination. I usually follow with a left hand and a right hook. Boom, set it down, Bang. left hand right there. Well, you can go left hand, right hook. I can go to the body, come up with a right hook, however you like to do it. But if you notice, the momentum's going the same direction. Easy to flow into it. In fact, WB hit this his last fight, again, against Kevin Holland, but he's also hit it in kickboxing fights. He did the same thing. One more time, WB. Yes, yeah. sir. Spin hook it, boom, set it down, ah, left hand. It flows. It makes sense, it provides power to that left hand. But what did Yair Rodriguez do, WB? Yair Rodriguez just, come, like you said, broke the time continuum. Did he hit the spin hook kick, showing his control of the spin hook kick, setting the foot down, stopping the momentum, which is very difficult to do. Ended up throwing the lead hand, bang, boom, 
right there, which is very difficult to do. So it looks something like this. Spin hook in. That's hard to do, man. It is hard, and what it does there is it adds a different timing, but if you notice, your ear through this in space. So what I mean by that is, is that he knew Emmett had a lot of space he could use to back up. So he knew that if he missed the hook kick, he was able to continue chasing Emmett down, not giving his brain a chance to react, not giving him yes. a chance to get his bearings about him with the opposite side combinations. So a few tips that will help you out with this combination, my combination or his combination, we're gonna do his combination, is the understanding of the hook kick and throwing lots and lots of spin hook kicks and knowing where you put your foot. Some people spin all the way around. Right, and I put my foot back where it started from. Well, with this one, you know your opponent's going to back up, so you gotta close the gap. So when you do the spin hook kick, practice spin hook kicking and setting the foot in front, like so. It's almost like you're chasing your partner down with the hook kick. So he's moving forward as the hook kick is coming. So he moves, boom. See how he's chasing me down with it? And from here, not planting yourself, but allowing yourself to continue forward with the shuffle movement, right? Understanding what combinations you have after putting that foot down. So it's something that you're gonna have to practice. The combination he threw was a right hook, left hand. You can even go spin, hook, kick, jab, cross. Just make it easy. Spin, hook, kick, bang, right hook, left hand. You can mix up all kinds of stuff, and now you have something when somebody fades back, right? You can follow up after that spin hook kick. So there you have it, guys. Yair Rodriguez, crazy combination, and his electric striking ability was just awesome and beautiful one, to watch. One of the most dynamic martial artists in the UFC to date, maybe even ever. But again, a huge component, a key to landing the direction change off the spin hook kick is you gotta chase your partner down with the spin hook kick. You're really reaching out there for them. They can't have their back to the cage unless you're spaced out. So you gotta be able to really reach with that spin hook kick. Sorry, dude. He's like a freaking three-year-old, man. Dude, I'm doing my ninja uh, finger weaving. Yeah, three-year-old, he you watched cartoons. It's, it's, it's not cartoons, cartoons dude, it's anime, get it right. But anyway, thank you guys for joining. Man, Yair Rodriguez, hat off to you, man. Amazing striking ability. I'm gonna be watching you, bro. I'm gonna be breaking some stuff down, bringing some stuff in, kind of, you know, learning from you. And now, obviously, we set up the amazing Volt versus Pantera fight for that 45 pound belt. Man, it's gonna be sick. Two awesome strikers going at it. Oh man, I can't wait for this one, dude. And we, we gotta do a breakdown of those guys, too. Yep. Gotta do a breakdown of those guys. Thank you, guys. Hit the subscribe button, throw some comments down below. Of course, turn on all notifications. We love you. Peace. And P.S. If it looks like we're looking up over here a lot, it's because we got a new <laughs> yeah, we monitor. Are. We are we're looking watching up over ourselves. Here. We're not used to it, but you know we love you guys. Whatever.